Okay, so I had such a challenging day, challenging day today, and um, so I decided to take myself out to dinner to just nurture myself and give myself something that I wanted, which was amazing, peaceful meal. So I came to Luby's, one of my favorite places, and uh, decided to take myself out on a date. This will be my first mukbang, and I decided I wanted to talk about um, how I process something challenging. Now, for me, over time, I've learned that the best thing to do is to respond and not react, because when we react, we make a mess of everything. That reaction can be really brutal, it can be mean, it can destroy a relationship that has taken a long time to build, just based on what we say, right? I've made this mistake before with people I love. So I'm very mindful of that um, at this point in my life. In a challenging time, I give myself time to go through all the emotions that come up, to, um, to spend time with myself, like processing those emotions. And it can be different for everybody, but it can be like a walk. You can go take a walk and relax, calm down, think about things, or it could take a little bit longer depending on what it is. And I also know that I'm a very sensitive person. Um, I feel very intensely. So I love really intensely. I have compassion really intensely. And I also, um, my love language is words of affirmation. So whatever people say to me, good, bad, encouraging, or really ugly, it all like gets me really deep right here in the heart. Even if I can find understanding, it still hurts. For me, it just takes time. And then once I go through all those emotions, there might be like anger at first, like wanting to lash out, then like eventually like, okay, like what part of what this person is saying is right? And then so on and so forth from there, whatever. It, it's a process, okay? It's not gonna happen like in five minutes. I'm not there yet. Once I give myself time, then I'm like, okay, like what is the highest, most good, way to respond that is good for everybody involved <sighs> yeah i think about it it takes time and sometimes i talk it out you know sometimes we might need a friend or somebody to be brutally honest with us or just love us and nurture us you know put on a really good song and just love on us sometimes we need that and um, i definitely needed and received that this weekend so i'm very grateful anything can be solved with communication so if we talk things out you know, it can be solved, so. <laughs> Once I feel like I've gotten to a place where I'm like, okay, I see it like this. I see their perspective. I see where they're coming from. I see what's happening. And then I just try to find compassion and understanding for that person because we're all doing the best that we can. You know what I mean? And we've all had days where we just don't act in our best, the best that we could be. I mean, we all have days like that. We've all, you know, just done stuff like that. So, um, that's where I find compassion and just try to go from there. So now I'm like, after that, I'm like, okay, I need to raise my vibration again because thinking and sifting through all this stuff really weighs me down. And I'm always like trying to make sure I'm doing the right thing. So, how do I get my vibration up? And for me, that is self-care. Today, I went and got cotton balls so that I can give my nails the love that they need so badly. And I'm gonna paint my nails, have this amazing meal with you guys, and just go back and relax and just do whatever I need to do. I have a clean room, I did my laundry, I folded it. Um, it looks really nice and neat and you know, just get myself in a better place and also tell myself that everything is divine. That even what we perceived as bad or hard times, that it's all divine because through that contrast, we can create something new. So when I have a hard time, a hard moment, something challenging, I'm like, this is the contrast that I'm creating something even better, something juicier, something clearer. I'm coming in with clear, more defined, parameters of what I want for my life. 
and that's when I get in creative mode. And I am a powerful being. I know that I'm a master at manifestation. I know that I have prayer and God and my faith also to include into all of that mix, to everything I've learned. And this looks different for everybody. But what I want to leave you with is give yourself time to respond instead of react. And there's less mess to clean up. Then communicate whatever it is that needs to be said for the highest good of everyone involved. And then use that space. Don't dwell in a, in a low vibration. Get your vibration up and use this space to create something even better. And I'm gonna leave you with that and enjoy the rest of my meal. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was such a healing weekend for me. It was such good conversation. People with amazing loving energy that I got to meet, some really good music and just surrounded by love and I got to feed a pig. I hope you guys love that clip. That was so sweet and fun for me. I love animals so that was very nurturing to my soul. So I wish you all the best and